Man, that Tony Goldwyn is so presidential on that show. He really is. He plays the president. It's a good thing he's presidential. He's fantastic in it. Scandal we're talking about. Uh, we are obsessed with that show. Half the country is hooked on uh, this program. Of course, Tony was acting a long time before uh, this hit TV series, and he's got a lot of other projects going on. But let's meet him, huh? Bring in Mr. President Tony Goldwyn. Come on in. That's him. Wow. <laughs> Come on over, sir. Come on over, Tony. Mr. Mr. President. President. <laughs> Indeed. Tony Goldwyn, welcome back to Good Day New York. Nice Thank to see you. you. Come on over here. Have a seat. Mr. President, uh, I, uh, the you. formalities, I don't know what you... Thank you, Well, We normally salute. But so you know, sorry. Know, I guess you can slide today. How are you? I'm great. So the last time we saw you on Scandal, mm -hmm. you won. I won, but at great cost. At a great cost, and Olivia was going off with another guy in an airplane. I know. What's that about? I don't know. <laughs> I'm concerned because are you back filming yet? What's happening? No, we with started in a little about five weeks, five six weeks. Yeah. So you know something. Right? I know nothing. You know, at this point, know you know nothing, nothing. And I probably won't know until right before. We never know what's going to happen. Wow. So how do you so memorize? All I know is I was on my knees on the floor of the Oval Office, was where you left me. Um, we. Quickly. Quickly. <laughs> so he's only president when the red light is on. <laughs> That's so funny. When it's off. Well, congratulations on the show. We all, we all love it. Uh, can Thank you tell you. us a little bit about this new project? Outlaw? I'm sorry, it's called Outlaw, Outlaw Profit. Profit? Yeah, yeah. This is, um, it's the story, it's about Warren Jeffs, if you remember. The polygamist. Warren Jeffs, who was a yes. polygamist sort of cult leader of this very extreme fundamentalist sect of Mormonism um, in southern Utah. And he was he's spending his life in prison now for... Um, Marrying off, marrying off, and marrying to himself um, many very young women, and uh, sort of was in jail for rape for two life sentences, I think. What's it like to play such a despicable oh, not person? Any of this, sir. It was very interesting. I mean, he really what he ended up doing was just awful, um, and and the way he not only with the you know uh, pedophilia with young women, he it, it's a you know it's really what the movie is about the study of a man who wanted to control everybody's life, so it's a cult leader, really, and, and to get in the head of somebody who is obsessed with controlling every nuance of everybody's life and, um, you know, in this very small community, it's just really fascinating, it, but unpleasant, too. I mean, there's some really uh, uncomfortable stuff in there. Totally wild. The clip. He, he had all these defenders as yeah. well a, at the trial, you'll remember. Still, there's still 10,000 people that follow him, and he huh. dictates their every move in life. Did you ever meet him at all? Did you I try didn't. to meet him? I didn't sort of have time, but also I don't know that he... I, I don't know that I, he would have spoken to me if I'd gone yeah. to the prison. I want to see you in action in Outlaw Prophet. Let's take a look. Okay. <laughs> that is uh, not at Love Robinson. That wasn't, but in the 21st well, century. The execution warrant shall stand. My name is Christine Rosa. I work for the Innocence Initiative. We think that could have been a mistake. Are you out? Sorry, we, we showed okay, two other that's things. That's really good, too. That's the that I'm producing. We're going to talk about directed. the divide in a second. Can we find <laughs> Outlaw Project? Outlaw Profit. Profit. Yeah. All right, hold that thought. Hold that thought. We're going to have it. Can you okay. remember gonna press the lights? Rewind. Here it is. Here we go. It's Katie Christensen and Elsa. Alma, sir. Alma Macker? Alma, right. Call me uncle. And, of course, the lovely Rebecca. Rebecca, are you ready to be placed in match? I would not choose any of this, sir. You've had too much freedom. You need to learn to be an obedient wife. Creepy. You've got that creep thing down. <laughs> it's pretty creepy. All right, so this is on Lifetime when? This is on Lifetime uh, Saturday, this Saturday night at 8 o'clock. Now, you're also, yeah. we got a little sneak peek at... You did, yes, on my <laughs> other show. At the other show, uh, right. The Divide, which is on WeTV. Yeah, yeah it's the that. first scripted series on, on WeTV. Um, and this is a show that I executive produced and co-created with... Um, Richard Legravenez, who's a wonderful screenwriter, did Behind the Candelabra last year, and um, uh, Richard and I came up with this idea, and it's about a case where a man is potentially wrongfully executed, but you don't know if he's innocent, and, and um, the DA who made his career on this case, and a young woman who you see in the clip from the Innocence, we call it the Innocence Initiative, but it's based on the Real Life Innocence Project, and it really looks at a crime 
and we follow as the sort of crime unravels and all the lives that are affected by it. Well, you are good because you don't only play the creeps, you play heroes as well, and you play them like Neil Armstrong. You were Neil Armstrong. I was yeah. Neil Armstrong. He's yeah. fantastic. Good. Tell him about what you're obsessed with, though. Well, a little bit. I mean, you're a Hollywood lineage, uh, heritage. Mm. I think we have. Have you ever seen one of those old movies and at the end of it, the lion comes up? Let's hit that, please, and you'll tell us about it. Watch this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. That's my name in the middle there. Metro Goldwyn <laughs> Mayor. The Goldwyn, that's you. You're related to that's your that. Grandfather? That's tell my us. grandfather. Yeah, my grandfather was Samuel Goldwyn, who was one of the sort of pioneers of the of the film business. Um, he was sort of the first independent. He started the company that eventually became MGM. He actually um, wasn't involved in that. He, by that time, he was a, a producer and made lots of great movies and was an amazing man. It's got to be hard to follow in that kind of footstep, but you have totally forged your own footsteps. Well, you got to so. kind of make your own way, and in, 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 especially in the arts, you know, there's no, there's no set path. It's not like, oh, you get a job, and if you do this, you'll ascend the ladder. You kind of got to figure it out. But, um, but it's, I must say, I feel very privileged, and um, it's very exciting to be part of that kind of a legacy. Well, Tony Goldwyn, we look forward to seeing you in Outlaw Prophet on Lifetime and the next the season. Divide the and Divide and the Divide, which starts next mm -hmm. uh, July, July 16th on the Wii Network. Yeah. And Scandal. Are you going to get back with your wife? I, I'm with everybody. I, you know, That's what I, I thought. I love them all. That's what I thought. <laughs> That's what I thought. I got something. All right. So nice to have you Good back on you. Good Day New York. Yeah, Good to all see right. You. We'll put all the information on Tony Goldwyn on our website, myfoxny.com. Last day of school in New York City. Isn't that great? Woo that is.